October 1994 and Manchester City were sitting in eighth place in the Premier League looking to protect an unbeaten home start to the season. The statistics were against Bran Horton's men though. Visitors Tottenham Hotspur had won the previous four meetings between the two sides at Main Road, twice in the league and once in both the league and the FA Cup. Andy Dibble and Richard Edgehill both started their last game before an automatic ban after being red-carded in City's 2-1 win at Queen's Park Rangers the previous week. There was also a start for former Spurs favourite Paul Walsh. Darren Anderton was missing for Tottenham through injury, but Kevin Scott was in the starting eleven after seeing his impending suspension rescinded. After a poor performance against Watford in the League Cup and consecutive score draws in the Premiership, Spurs manager Ozzy Ardiles was under growing pressure for results. Your match commentator is John Champion. Match referee today is David Ellery from Harrow in Middlesex. Both these sides two months into the English Premier League season. Still searching for some convincing form. Tottenham with one win in their last six Premier League outings. City with just four victories so far in ten games. But they always fancy their chances here at Main Road. And here's Nicky Summerby. And the referee's whistle has gone for the foul by Justin Edinburgh. It's being questioned by Sheringham in his role as Spurs skipper. Edgehill with the ball, but the most likely person to deliver it is surely Summerby, given his crossing ability. It's high towards the back post. Barry Clipcroft rising. The sponsors of the league have provided the rainwear today. The rebuilding work on the Kipak side of the ground. when it rains in Manchester, which apparently it does reasonably frequently. We need some form of Mac or coat. Here's Barmby for Spurs. Klinsman. Nicky Barmby again. Well, there was a fortuitous bounce of the Manchester City body in the midst of all that. There's such attacking prowess in this Spurs side with Sheringham and Klinsman and Barmby and Dumitrescu. Should be full of goals. Bigri. Inside Dazelle. Outside Dazelle. One of the most exciting wingers around, Peter Bigri. Has been for a while now. Manchester City have been the team to watch for entertainment in the Premier League so far this season. 16 goals scored, 14 conceded in their 10 matches. And that 2-1 win at Queen's Park Rangers last weekend, despite red cards for two of their players, Richard Edgehill and the goalkeeper Andy Dibble. They'll be serving bans next week. Popescu. Some spot. Sheringham. Barnby. Thinsman. Nicky Barmby, that's a good save by Andy Dibble, had to get down low to his side, lovely build-up play from Spurs, Kerslake, Sheringham, and still Spurs come with Sheringham, and there's a fair amount of disquiet amongst the Manchester City supporters that they have taken so long to clear their lines. away again here's Edinburgh this time it's Keith Curl with a studious clearance it's a really top save by Andy Dibble that's been Ardiles' problem Tottenham just don't take their chances sufficiently often Dimitrescu too strong for Barnby Super layoff from Thinsman. Quinn beaten by Campbell. Summerby. Edgehill. 
Gary Flitcroft. Loomis. Campbell comes for Walsh. It's a present. A gift wrapped by Tottenham for their former striker, Paul Walsh. Campbell's intervention was not decisive enough. And Walsh, who three weeks ago celebrated his 32nd birthday, has opened the scoring. Phelan, waving others to join in with him. Walsh. Trying to dribble his way through the entire Tottenham defence. Keen to do well today, his former teammates. Kevin Scott. Gita Popescu. Barmby. By the posterior of Flitcroft, it's now Klinsman. Well, he's gone four Premier League games without a goal, which, by his lofty standards, is akin to an eternity. Arrived with an early flurry of goals. Inside Popescu to Walsh. Edgehill comes to Walsh again. Round Scott. And such an inviting ball across the face. Paul Walsh very much taking the eye. Sheringham Now Klinsman Around Dibble Down he goes And guess what It's a penalty of cheat, cheat, cheat from the stands and the terraces. No question that he made an awful lot of whatever contact there was. It's the Romanian, Ilik Dumitrescu. Perfect penalty. And Spurs are back level at 1-1. And a ground where they have been victorious on their last four visits. Walsh, Hitcroft, now with Popescu for Spurs. Bags up. Curls free kick. Decision goes City's way. It is a miserable afternoon. Walsh. Beagree. And Summerby. Stooping headers are not his strong point. But it was such a nice delivery from Peter Beagree. It demanded a good finish. Didn't get it. Trying to find an angle and a space from which to shoot instead. Spire sharing him to Dazelle. Kerslake. Tottenham are having a good spell here.
Dimitrescu. Sheringham's headed down. And then he goes down. Heat is definitely on for Osvaldo Ardiles. Kersnake. Popescu. Dumitrescu. Tottenham having plenty of possession in this phase of the game. Haven't threatened that often. Scott. Dumitrescu. Oh, off the face of the bar. And then the follow up. Well, well wide from Sheringham. Took a deflection off Edge Hill, which looped it over the goalkeeper. Left him stranded. And then Sheringham was being challenged by Phelan. Samaby. Surely will. Little and large. Walsh and Quinn. And this time it's large who scored. Anthony, second goal. Super cross from Summerby. You come three. to expect that from him. Walker's parry. Comfortable. Apart from the kick in the teeth for Niall Quinn. More problems. Spurs management. Quick to Walsh. Those two have combined so well. B grip. <laughs> Quinn rising. And heading the ball as he was falling. And Tottenham are struggling to deal with the height of Manchester City's totem, Niall Quinn. Sharing him. Peter Bigri. Now Quinn. Now Walsh. And Walker couldn't keep it out. He probably should have done. But the former Spurs striker, Paul Walsh, has his second goal against Tottenham of a very wet afternoon. And Manchester City lead 3-1. Dizelle. Dumitrescu. Steered away by Curl. Awkward for the goalkeeper. First Dazel, then it was Klinsman. Now it's with Dumitrescu. And that was Popescu, although he won't be too proud to put his name to that effort. As half time arrives at Main Road, with Manchester City leading 3 1, two of them scored by that man, Paul Walsh. Exchanging words with the coach David Moss as he heads down the tunnel. Dumitrescu's penalty sandwiched in between Niall Quinn, also on the score sheet. And it's a reasonably happy, if very damp, main road at half-time with a scoreline of Manchester City 3, Tottenham 1. There is nothing quite like supporting Manchester City. Always either up or down, never somewhere in the middle. And today looks likely to be one of those up days. It doesn't mean that by the middle of next week they won't be down again. Alan Sugar in passive, but presumably unhappy. He's the man whose personal assurance has led to Klinsman joining Spurs. Dimitrescu. 
Klinsman getting the better of Ed Schill. Dumitrescu again with a deflection and a goal. And all of a sudden, Tottenham are back in this contest. In the first minute of the second half. A bit of good fortune allowed them to run for the goalkeeper. Devil was pretty helpless. Such a good player. But as a manager, the jury remains out. Good tackle by Quinn on Popescu. Popescu is limping. But it's Dumitrescu, his countryman, who's got the ball. And still. And that was a very useful block. By Ian Brightwell. Very necessary. Sheringham. Playing by Dibble. Of goalkeeping. Brian Horton is in his second season here. Became Manchester City's seventh manager in ten years when he took the job. Klinsman. Dimitrescu. Dazelle. Terry Phelan for Manchester City. The only route was the one back to the goalkeeper. Quinn. Walsh. Begrick. Thursday committed himself all too easily. And there's the fourth goal. It's a goal that sums up Manchester City. Today, full of adventure and hope. They do say that fortune favours the brave. And they have cast caution to the winds today. And it's Tottenham who are suffering. Dumitrescu. Klinsman. Driven ball. No one to touch it in from Justin Edinburgh. They claim it wasn't a shot. It might well have been. County in the League Cup on Wednesday. It's the last thing they need right now. Potential banana skin of a cup tie. Their poor start this season, compounding the problems from last when they were only 15th in the table, just three points clear of the drop. That's what's led to this pressure mounting up on the manager, Osvaldo Ardiles. Pescu. Sheringham. Bombay. Well, they look a little world weary, Tottenham now. They've tried everything they know, all their attacking talents put together. Still not enough. Nicky Bombay. Dumitrescu. Sheringham's header. And the 
deposited behind by Ian Brightwell. Andy Dibbles had some good moments today. Quinn. Walsh. Pescu, Klinsman, here's Barmby, and once again the goalkeeper Dibble decided he was coming for a ball and wasn't going to be denied. Lomas, Quinn, ten minutes to go, this is Summerby. Lomas! They have really high hopes for Steve Lomas here at Manchester City. Sheringham. Dumitrescu. Elegantly but effectively Manchester City clear to halfway. And it was Lomas helping out at the back this time. Well, this hefty defeat is bound to reopen the debate over the future of Ozzy Ardiles. Not that it's ever really gone away. against Teddy Sheringham. Walsh. Bearing down on Campbell. Twisting past Campbell. Paul Walsh for City. And there's the fifth from Gary Flickcroft. But it owed everything to the weaving, jinking run of Paul Walsh. He scored two and now set up two against one of his old clubs. And has he enjoyed himself? You bet he has. Beagre, fending off the attentions of Kerslake. Walsh. Croft for Lomas, Edgehill, Quinn, big deflection on that, and for a moment Lomas was hoping as the goalkeeper went one way and the ball the other. Tottenham announced themselves on the opening day of the season with a 4-3 win at Hillsborough, they won three of their first four games, They've only won one of six since. Beagre. Summerby. Dispossessed by Popescu. It's all now pretty academic. Three goal margin between the sides. Manchester City extending their unbeaten run here at Main Road. Six games played this season. Four wins, two draws it'll be in the Premier League when the final whistle is blown by David Ellery. Which is now. And Manchester City have in the end a handsome win in a thrilling game against Tottenham. The visitors contributed fully to the entertainment on offer. Two goals from the former Spurs striker Paul Walsh. One from Lomas, one from Quinn, one from Flickcroft. Two of those he didn't score, he set up, so it's been a great day for Walsh. Dumitrescu with a brace, one from the spot for Tottenham.
Manchester City clearly the more effective of the two teams, even if Tottenham had the bigger names. Manchester City 5, Tottenham 2. A fine win for Manchester City in what otherwise turned out to be a relatively poor season, which saw them finish 17th in the Premier League. It was worse still for the Tottenham manager, Ozzy Ardiles. The Argentine lasted just two more games in charge. Steve Perryman was installed as caretaker manager before Jerry Francis took over and guided them to seventh.